Hello and welcome to my channel and in this video we will learn about various edge detection techniques using OpenCV and Python. So as usual I start by importing the important libraries that is OpenCV as CV2, NumPy and Artplotlib to view the image. Next I read the image from my local directory using the cv2.imread function and I display the image using the matplotlib function I am show. So this is the example that we saw in the previous video which was regarding the blurring and smoothing of an image. So I took an example of a bottle. So that is the same image that I'll be using in this video. So uh, as we know that OpenCV use uh, by default loads the image in an uh, BGR format. So we convert it to RGB format using the convert color function and I use the BGR to RGB function and I run this part of code and I see the image in the RGB format and it is a blue color water bottle. Next I want to do edge detection and edge detection uh, various edge detection techniques of OpenCV require a grayscale image. So I'll, I'll have to convert this image from RGB format to grayscale format. So I, I simply use the this particular function convert color function that I used earlier but instead of a BGR to RGB I use the RGB to gray function. I run this part of code and it successfully converted the image from from uh, RGB format to a grayscale. So let's I just copy this in order to show you if it actually looks gray and I paste it here and image gray and I run this. Okay, I forgot to write the cmap equals gray. I run this once again, and this is a gray image which I got after converting it from RGB to gray. So I'll be using this particular gray image in the later part in the coming part of the tutorial in order to identify edges from this image. So first I instead of uh, starting directly with detecting edges there there are uh, there are various types of noise we saw in the previous example that the canny no canny edge detector detected detected good amount of noise so i first i will blur the image using the median blur function i will blur this particular image using the median blur so i i made a separate video about blurring and smoothing so check that out if you would like to learn more about smoothing and blurring so i run this part of code and i'll be able to see a blurred image it won't be too much there won't be too much of a blur because the matrix size is just 9 in the previous video i took the matrix size as 110 and it gave me a nice blur so this is the blurred image most amount of noise has been removed next i use the laplacian edge detection technique and i use the cv2.laplacian function in order to do that the first parameter that i give is median blur and the second parameter is the data type of an image it is it is a 8 bit unsigned integer image in this example and the next parameter is the depth of an output image I take it as minus 1 and next I use the matplotlib function in order to display the Laplacian image. So I run this part of code and it does not give me any good output here. It you can just see a small white edge that was detected that is the cap of this particular this particular bottle. So this does not look satisfactory in any way. So let's take uh, let's do a trick here. I'll use the thresholding function uh, in order to uh, divide the image into black and white. I'll I'll show you. I made a special tutorial about thresholding, the binary thresholding and adaptive thresholding. So I would recommend that you check that out. 
so i use the thresholding function and i use the blurred image in order to find a binary image so i run this part of code and i i got this as the output the bottle the bottle is black in color and the background is white so once again i apply the laplacian filter in order to get on an output and let's see if i get a proper output this time so i run this part of code and still this is not that satisfactory output you can you can definitely find the edge of the bottle here yeah, but still i would consider this to be an unsatisfactory output so this was an example of a laplacian edge detector and i was uh, sincerely not satisfied with the output so now let us take an example of sobel filter so there are two types of sobel filters the one which detects the the horizontal edges and the one which detects the vertical edges so first we take an example where we detect the horizontal edges the changes that take place horizontal changes that take place the horizontal pixel changes that take place in an image so i use i name it as sobel x because i want the changes along the x axis and i use the blurred image and the, here the data type is 16 bit sign which is the second parameter for the cv2 sobel filter the third parameter is the order of derivative uh, naming it one year means that we are trying to find the edge along the x axis or we are trying to find the edge horizontally the next parameter is the derivative along the y axis but since we are using the sobel x filter we will put it as zero because the sobel x filter will find the changes along the x axis so this will be zero and the kernel size i'll take it as minus one so originally we are using the data type of 16s but later on while displaying the image we need to convert the data type to 8 bit unsigned so i use the np.absolute function in this particular few lines of code in order to do that and this two lines of code will convert the data type of the image from 16 bit signed to 8 bit unsigned and i name it as sobel x a2 so that we can identify that it is the sobel x filter with 8 bit unsigned data type so i run this part of code and once again i run this using the matplotlib function and we can see a proper this looks really good in comparison to the laplacian filter so this is the output uh, of the sobel x filter only sobel x filter next i will run the sobel y, y filter the only changes that i'm making is in the variable name instead of sobel x i name it as sobel y and the order of the derivative so in previous example the order of derivative was one the third parameter was one and the fourth parameter was zero and here the third parameter is 0 and the fourth parameter is 1 because we are using the Sobel Y filter here and I will use the same kernel size of minus 1 and similarly I will convert the data type from 16 bit signed to 8 bit unsigned just like the previous one and I will name it as Sobel Y here and I will run this part of code and I will display it using the matplotlib function so this here we were able to detect the change along the y axis as you can see so this was an example where we detected the edges using the sobel x filter and sobel y filter and now i will combine both the sobel x filter and the sobel y regard uh, using the normalization function i will normalize the sobel x and sobel y using this single particular line of code and i'll be able to see the combined output of the sobel x and the sobel y filters and i'll run this part okay and this looks really really good in comparison to the laplacian edge detector but it depends on cases uh it depends on the type of image that you are using and it depends on the application so we saw two examples the 
the Laplace energy detector and so will X and Y filters to detect edges. There is another edge detection technique that is canny edge detector. So I use the I use the variable name as edges and I use the cv2 dot canny function in order to detect the edges using the canny edge detector. So I use the first uh, parameter as gray image the original gray image instead of using the uh, blurred image I am using the original grayscale image and this is the minimum gradient value that is 20 and this is the 75 which is the maximum upper limit for the gradient value. So any pixel above the maximum value is an edge and any pixel which is below the minimum value are not considered as edges and any pixel which is between this particular values 20 and 75 are also considered an edge only if those particular pixels are connected to a pixel which have a maximum edge value i will run this part of code and you can see the change in gradient the changes in the gradient along the bottle water bottle and it was able to detect the change in gradient and we were able to see the output you can play around with the minimum gradient and the maximum gradient value in order to fulfill the requirement according to the type of image that you are using. So we took a look at various edge detection techniques, the Gaussian edge detector, the Sobel X and Y filter. The Sobel filter in particular, in particular gave us much better output and finally we saw the canny edge detector. So this was an, a tutorial about edge detection using various techniques using OpenCV and Python. So I hope you like the video. Please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching.